Dallas Cowboys say they have talked to quarterback Dak Prescott and running back Ezekiel Elliott after a Team Z report this week and they claimed Prescott hosted a birthday party for a friend at his home in Prosper that included Elliott and featured as many as 30 people. Cowboys Vice President Stephen Jones said on a radio show in Dallas that the organization has communicated with both Dak and Zeke and they are certainly aware now of how sensitive these situations are and I don't think you will be seeing any more of that. Prosper police were called to Dak's home according to the Fort Worth Star Telegram, but officers said they found no evidence of a party and just cautioned those there about the social distancing guidelines. Prescott also caused waves for video of him working out with former teammate Des Bryant that also appeared to violate the stay home, work safe orders by government and health officials. Prescott frustrated with the media's coverage of the party issued a statement saying there were fewer than 10 people at the party. Quote, I understand and accept that there are additional responsibilities and media scrutiny that come with being an NFL quarterback, but it's very frustrating and disappointing when people provide completely inaccurate information from anonymous sources, especially now. I know that we all need to do our best to socially distance and like everyone else, I'm continuing to adjust to what that requires. But the truth is that it was with fewer than 10 people for a home dinner, not a party on Friday night, end quote. And meet the new head coach of the Johnson Jaguars football team, Mark Soto, who also carries the title of athletic director at the school. He replaces Ron Riddiman, who opened up Johnson High School 12 years ago as our first football coach, and last month decided to move over to Alamo Heights to become the Mules AD and head football coach. Soto has a long history of football in San Antonio and the surrounding area, starting with his playing days as a linebacker for Judson High School in 1988 to 1990, where he helped them win a state championship in 88 after their opponent had to forfeit the win in the state title game. He would go on to become the Rockets defensive coordinator and assistant head coach before moving on to becoming the head coach of the San Marcos Rattlers in 2012. It was there he led the Rattlers to a district title in 2017, going 10 and 2, all the while helping lead the drive to build a new stadium and student activity center. Now he takes over one of the most high profile jobs in the area while paying tribute to the legacy left behind by Coach Ritterman. Coach Ritterman has, has left a sustainable program. He's done a great job uh, building that program up. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to go in there and, and use what's great and, and, and enhance what, what needs a little bit of work on. So we're going to bring energy to the place, uh, make sure that we're attacking on defense, spreading the ball on offense, and being sound on uh, special teams. And the most famous cycling race, the Tour de France, was pushed back due to the coronavirus. The race is now scheduled to start August 29th and end September 20th. The tour was originally set to start June 27th. Let's hope everything's back to normal by then. I hope so, oh. too, geez. <laughs> I can say there's be some guys with some bikes that would like to social distance. <laughs> Get about three miles ahead of everybody. Right, the else. leader. Yeah, yeah, see you guys later. You guys I'm off. safe. I'm good. <laughs> oh, y'all behind me. Speaking of good, they're always good at SA Live. It's time to check out some recipes and hair hacks and more creative ways to teach your kids about stuff from home. Mm -hmm. Hi, yes, guys. indeed. And Hi. while you're at home, get out and enjoy this beautiful weather. I'll tell you one thing. If you're in the shadows right now, it's a little, it's a little cold. Out. Oh, it is beautiful and refreshing. Yeah, what a day this would have been to go out to SeaWorld. We're going to check in with them. You can enjoy this from the comfort of your home. We're going to check in on the sea lions and the seals to see how they're doing, but also they're going to share some online courses that you can use and utilize from home to teach your kids. All right, a lot of folks are doing some uh, cooking at home. How about a very easy prep recipe? We are learning from our local junior chef, and don't worry, you don't need one of those fancy little machines. This is easy, and your kids can help out too. And it's about that time. Those pesky grays are sneaking in. We have some hacks for you ladies out there if you're trying to keep them covered. I know I needed that right now during this time because it is about that time. Hacks, that, and much more. And with fewer trips to the uh, do without bread or think really hard hmm. on that one. Yeah. Just well, one? Yeah. Uh, I'd probably get, I, I, I'm okay without tortillas, but, but bread, yeah. You know, because there's so many different kinds of bread. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> more coming up as they live, so stick around. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV.
Because of the coronavirus pandemic, Disney had to temporarily close its doors to tourists. But don't get too discouraged. There is a chance to bring a little Disney love into your kitchen. We've got the recipe for the grilled three cheese sandwich from Woody's Lunchbox. Whether you're bored or hungry, it certainly won't disappoint. Just head over to KSAT.com to find all the needed ingredients other than cheese and bread. The there are recipe. tricks to a good grilled cheese sandwich. I, I know Justin's made a few for his kids. Yeah, throw some tomatoes on there. Ooh. Ah, and bacon. Yeah. Oh, well, well, bacon, yeah, that always makes everything better, doesn't it? And don't forget the mayonnaise. Oh, uh, we can do without that. Mayonnaise on a grilled cheese? Yeah. Really? Uh, really? Oh, I, see, you're going to get Mike started about that. Yeah, yeah. Mike <laughs> Ostrahage is agreeing with me, y'all. <laughs> All right, 61 degrees outside right now, 70 degrees this afternoon. Beautiful day, breezy coming up tomorrow, more moisture, and we'll get some showers perhaps uh, Friday, a little cooler Friday night into Saturday morning. Some chances of storms also Sunday morning, so we'll keep you posted there. Otherwise, it clears out next week and we'll get some warm temperatures. You don't know about the mayonnaise I'm still on the sure outside. About the mayonnaise you put the, the mayonnaise field. on the outside and you grill it. Yeah, but then that's fattening. Oh. <laughs> when did we start worrying about <laughs> that? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to go to our grilled cheese expert. That's right. Mike Osterhays can make a mean <laughs> grilled cheese sandwich. SA Live starts right now. She's a Hollywood insider, but can also cook a mean dish. We're catching up with Entertainment Tonight's Nichelle Turner and chatting about the shakeup in the entertainment industry. Plus, he brings the prehistoric age back like no one else. How Dinosaur George is still offering fun and educational presentations. And ladies, don't worry about the roots starting to show. Our beauty expert has some great hacks to help you cover the gray. Why cover the gray? Excuse me. <laughs> SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday. This is the faculty and staff of Our Lady in the Lake University sending out the love and support from to the students and their community. That is awesome. Look at that. That's fantastic. I love seeing all those signs and everybody sharing the positive, positive vibes. We need a lot of that right now. That's the best thing you can do is just be as positive as all possible. <laughs> Thanks to all the folks out there. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. And for Fiona today, you know, the grocery stores are starting to fill back up with supplies. But if it came down to it, bread or tortillas, you know, sometimes it's a hit or a miss. Which right. one would you pick? If you could only have one, you know, you're there, you can only pick one. Which one are you going home with? <laughs> what are you going home with? I think I go with bread. I could do a lot more with that, especially for the kids. Well, and, and getting back to the, the whole grilled cheese thing, because I love a really good grilled oh, yeah, cheese and go. a good, you know, <laughs> and, and depending on the, the type of bread, but, yes. you know, cheese on a tortilla is really good, too. Just oh, yeah. to, to flip a little jelly. quesadilla. Oh, it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> so That's which a one would tough you pick? One. You don't know? I, I'd go with bread. <laughs> Okay. I, I would yeah. I would pick the bread, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. Ooh, chewy crust and all that. Cinnamon <laughs> We're toast. Hungry. Okay, let's get back to it. Share your comments on social media and tag us at SA Live on KSAT, and we will share comments a little bit later on. Well, something looks a little bit different. Jen is here, but don't worry, Fiona. She's just really working hard today. Yes, yes, out on mommy duty. Oh, oh my there she goodness, is. cuteness overload. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Sloan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? I'm here at home today. It's a big full house. We've got Sloan, of course, and Charlie. Here at home today. Hi, Charlie. Hi. What did she do? She just came to lunch. You want to go? Then we can get to lunch. Bring it over. Bring it over. That is scrambled eggs for lunch. Because she loves you. Remember that. <laughs> And how's Sloan okay. how doing? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, there you go. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> hey, Matt. That's like Matt. I'm kidding. <laughs> Every, well, we're having a little bit of audio trouble. It looks like you are having fun there. And uh, oh, my goodness, that's so good seeing Sloan, seeing yes. little Charlie as well. And Matt, too. We haven't really seen him. <laughs> Hi, does he get out of the playpen? No, no, I try to keep him in there. Okay. No. And, and you get him all three down for a nap, and then you're all set? <laughs> 
Thanks for we will us. see you back here tomorrow, yes. Fiona. Have fun. All right, from our SA Live superstar to the entertainment business, just like us, TV shows across the country are really hitting some speed bumps. Yes, Nichelle Turner from Entertainment Tonight catches us up on the latest in show business, and she has a little secret recipe that helped land her husband. Take a look. Now joining us is ET co-host Nichelle Turner. Thank you so much for joining us today. David, I like this. I like to eat your man after my heart. I love to cook. This is going to be good. Quarantine lockdown has everybody thinking of new ways to reinvent mm -hmm. items in their pantry, um, making it fun and of course supporting local restaurants for takeout. But if you're going to reinvent something in the kitchen, you have a really fun recipe that you're going to share with us today. I do. What is it? Well, it's a sweet treat because the kiddos are at home. You know, you're having to do homeschooling and everything. So if I'm going to be the lunch lady, I'm going to give a sweet treat at the end of lunch, right? Okay. Um, and so I love to bake. Baking is like therapy for me because when you get in the kitchen, you start creating, you're putting things together and baking's like a science. So whenever I'm stressed out and I need to like really focus, I get and I bake. So I love, I make the the most decadent, most delicious chocolate chip cookies. Honey, I got a man off these cookies, okay? <laughs> Make these cookies for your next date. I know we're social distancing right now, but when this is lifted, make these cookies for your next mate, and honey. This is the get a man cookie. <laughs> the, thank you, that's what they're called, get a man cookie. <laughs> this this is groundbreaking stuff here on the you show. I'll tell you, I've never had a recipe where it's like, get a woman, get a man cookie. This is great. I love what's going on. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I got a man with these cookies. <laughs> Now, what about the entertainment industry? Yeah. What has it been like being a part of that, going through all of this? Oh, honey, we're all mixed up. We're all flipped around. Uh, you know, it's been turned on its head like everything else. It really has. I mean, movies aren't opening. Concerts are canceled. Um, you know, TV shows are not in production. We're doing our show from home like you guys are doing your show. We're doing Entertainment Tonight every night from our homes, um, which in some ways, I think there has been a bit of a silver lining there because um, we're hearing from our viewers. They connect a little bit better from us when we are just sitting in our living rooms or in our kitchen or in our bedrooms as well just like them and talking to them um, so I think that's made us connect a little bit better and kind of really figure out what people want because we're going through it too um, so that's been a good thing our show looks a little different because we do all of our interviews on zoom like you and I are doing right now <laughs> uh, so I do miss seeing um, you know some of my favorite celebrities sitting in front of them and talking to them I miss that but getting to, to just kind of interact this way it's different um but it's fun you know it's and we're finding new creative ways to do our show i think it's giving us a little jolt of creativity to kind of figure it out when sometimes we get in a mundane space um now you know on our show we've had to figure out ways to still bring people the show that they love thank you so much for joining us of and course. you know good luck to you moving forward and, and you know stay healthy i do want you to throw one thing at us here for all mm -hmm. the viewers Throw us a random ingredient that you want to challenge people to use at home. Ooh, ooh, a ran mm, let me think of a good one. You're doing Texas Eats? Uh, still, once we're, this is lifted, have us in. We'll cook together. That would be so fun. I'm Absolutely. gonna hold you up to it. You better bring the goju, Jane. Uh, baby, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you. Well, have us in. We'll, we'll come cook, we'll have a little fun, we'll talk a little celebrity and cook a little something up. Love it, thank you okay. so much. Hey, there's a lot more of David's chat with Michelle Turner, including that cookie recipe. I'm I dying to know what that cookie Me recipe too. is. And you can see her every day at 4.30 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. And plus, he's cooking with the San Antonio native actor. It's a star-studded edition of Texas Eat. So you can see all of this Saturday morning. I know you might recognize that guy, Nicholas Gonzalez, at 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. Ooh, nothing like a good warm cookie. All right, from Hollywood glam to prehistoric life. Yes, this guy you're about to hear from has lectured millions of students in thousands of museums and schools across the country. That's right, you may recognize Dinosaur George. And once a school teacher, now a paleontologist and animal behaviorist, he's also co-writer and host of Jurassic Fight Club on History Channel. Let's just say he knows his dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are his passion. Sharing prehistoric knowledge is what he loves most. 
When this dinosaur was alive, that was hollow. Right now, Dinosaur George is not letting social distancing keep him from educating children from all around the world for free. Well, one of the things that's changed for us, of course, is now we're doing everything via internet instead of live. You know, my career has been going into schools and turning gyms into museums and educating kids that way. Instead, the fossils and dino lessons are coming straight to your living room. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at is woolly mammoth hair. And so now I'm doing at home uh, long distance lessons where I'm teaching kids about dinosaurs and prehistoric life, but I'm doing it from within my studio rather than personal. And how has that been? What is the response so far from the kiddos? It's, a, it's certainly different because what I love is the interaction with kids. And that's the thing that you don't get as much of, but it, it's really going much better than I thought and kids adapt so quickly. You know, they, as adults, we're all panicking about this and that, and kids just go with the flow. So it's actually going very well. That, my friends, is a raptor claw. One of the cool things that we love about you when you come on SA Live is that you're, you bring the fossils. So I know you wanted to talk a little bit about that. To adapt to that, we just size things down. Whoa. This is what the skull of a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex would look like. Cute little guy, isn't he? <laughs> isn't he sweet? But to give you an idea of size so that kids can understand, well, this is how big a baby would be. This is that same section from an adult. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so even though I may not be able to show you an entire Tyrannosaurus Rex, I can still show you what it looks like but I can compare it to the size of an adult. And for our SA Live viewers, we have a fun little lesson for you. What scientists have discovered is that its teeth would have been covered with bacteria. See, there's little bumpy lines. You can't see them very well. I can't, I can kind of demonstrate it this way, but those are called serrations. And that's what we find on a sharp steak knife. That's why your parents don't let you play with a steak knife. They're very sharp and they'll cut your fingers. Well, it has these little bumpy lines, but what scientists discovered was each one of those little bumps, those little hooks, they're made for cutting meat. They also would have held tiny drops of blood and meat on them. And that means bacteria would have grown all over the tooth. So when Tyrannosaurus Rex bit you, it's not just a matter that he bit you, but he has also infected the wound with bacteria. Ooh. And that would, we, it's something we call a septic bite. Komodo dragons have that. The lesson that I'm teaching Friday is going to be on rocks and minerals, where I'm even breaking open geodes. And probably the most important thing I can tell kids today, remember this, Tyrannosaurus Rex did not wash his hands. And he's not here anymore. Wash your hands, don't be a T-Rex, wash your hands. Raptors could wash their hands, so be a raptor, don't be a T-Rex when it comes to your health. <laughs> and of course, that's the thing kids will take home, won't they? I told them that. It's like, they'll remember that. Don't be a T-Rex. Wash your hands. Yes, yes. And Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. on the Dinosaur George Jr. Facebook page. He's going live. And he told me that there's people from all around the world tuning in. They're waking up like at 1 a.m. just to check in with him. So it's kind of interesting for him to get that perspective on who's watching. And he's doing a great thing for free. I never knew of that about T-Rex with the septic bite. I just know. like a Komodo dragon. I was, we talked for 10 minutes, by the way. I had to chop that down. I was just like, whoa, you're blowing me away with these fun facts. So, so he's great at what he does. Make sure you tune in. That's great. All right, still ahead on SA Live, are you up for the chocolate trip challenge? We'll show you a recipe so easy, even that kid can do it. Well, she's a chef, though. What a cutie. But first, it is time for a big adventure. We visit some of the cutest performers at SeaWorld to see how the show goes on. That's next on SA Live. Hey there, I'm Dinosaur George, and this is my little friend Tyrannosaurus Rex, and we watch SA Live, and that's what you're watching right now. Welcome 
Welcome back to SA Live. The crowds are gone, but animals are still swimming. I was lucky enough to check in on some of the most playful animals at SeaWorld to see how they are doing. And all the essential workers out there, obviously they still have to feed them. Oh yeah. They have to take care of them because, you know, the animals aren't really sure what's going on right now. I wonder if they <laughs> if they realize that there aren't crowds out there. They must. They were real excited when we were there, so maybe they do miss seeing some see, more yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, seeing, seeing new faces. Plus we find out some new details about their amazing free online resources. Check it out. That's right, we're back here out at SeaWorld. The park may be closed, but they are taking such good care of the animals. Can you guess where I'm at right now? I have Todd joining me again, Supervisor of Animal Husbandry, and you have some fun facts because we're promoting your online resources today. But first, let's talk fun facts and sea lions and seals. Absolutely. So we're at Pacific Point Preserve. We have two species of animals in here. We have the California sea lion and the harbor seal. Uh, and we're going to go over the easy ways to know the difference. There's a few. The first is you're going to look at the front flippers. If it's a very large front flipper, wing-like, that's a California sea lion. Uh, if it has small, very short front flippers, that's your harbor seal. Another great way to tell the difference is what those back flippers are doing. A sea lion can actually tuck its back flippers up and walk on all fours, whereas a seal has to undulate like a worm. Uh, another easy way out here would be to listen to them. Our California sea lions are very vocal, uh, and the, the seals are kind of quiet. The, so if it's in a big group and it's loud, it's definitely one of our sea lions. And if it's alone, just chilling, taking a nap, then that's one of the harbor seals. And now do they eat the same things? They do, they do. They're both fish eaters. So these guys have a very specific amount of fish that comes up here every day. I think they're calling for yes, seconds like, right hey, now. You're there. Feed us. <laughs> <laughs> so every day the trainers come up and they'll take care of these guys. There's a whole team dedicated to just sea lions, uh, seals, and otters. And what is their favorite thing, would you say, um, to play? Like if they're just trying to have a good time, what would you say? Is it the same? Sure. Level? So we have a lot of enrichment that we put in the pool. Yes. Uh, environmental enrichment devices. We'll call it an EED for short. But there's big rafts they can float on. There's ice blocks with surprises frozen in the center. They like to bang those around and uh, wait till they till they get the surprise out of it. Uh, and then there's toys, straps that they can pull on and balls they can throw up in the air and just have a good time. But I think they mostly love sunbathing. And speaking of learning about animals, this is so cool that we're able to bring these sea lions and seals into your living room today. But if they go online to SeaWorld.org, SeaWorld uh, there's so many different animals that you can learn about. Let's talk about that because it's not just science, it's that, math too, right? Absolutely. Uh, we were just looking up one of the math lesson splash of math and so when you're at home and you want to get your kids excited about math and you know they don't know how to carry the one anymore things like that well take a page out of SeaWorld's book we have um, math lessons for kinder all the way through 12th grade no way we do and uh, we're covering math we're covering there's some English skills in, in all the curriculums online but I mean imagine do you want your child to learn 24 divided by 6 or is it more fun to talk about having six sea lions and 24 fish and how many does each seal get or yes, sea lion get yes it, it makes it fun right it makes it exciting for kids yes totally i know my kids would absolutely prefer that kind of math lesson and it also changes things up for them so is there anything else that you can share with our viewers about these guys here do you think they're missing people obviously we all are missing the social interaction but they seem pretty happy with each other right now yeah you know the the younger pups from this year seem to be playing more they're hanging out the seals are well we have some seals out moving right now he's up and at him usually they're sleeping so they're, they're getting their and their that's a baby right there right? it is it is oh, that is adorable but the the trainers the animal care specialists here they do a great job of keeping all these animals motivated stimulated ha you know having a good time got it all right so don't forget to check out the online resources seaworld.org <laughs> Adorable. One they more are. fun fact that they left out that differentiates seals from sea lions. I'll let you guess. Uh, the only one I could think of was the tucking the uh, their back uh, flippers underneath. The sea lions can. The ears. So sea lions will have the little flaps, and the seals don't have a flap on the ear. And that's the easiest way. When he told me when we were the camera went off, I was like, oh, oh yeah. Oh. Now I'll never forget that. There you oh, go. Ah, okay. <laughs> 
Well, thank you very much to Ann Sarah Winton Chevrolet for this month's big adventure. And for more information, go to AnnSarahChev.com. Still ahead on SA Live, no salon, no problem. We have some great beauty hacks to cover up the gray and Why? Keep those nails <laughs> going a little longer. Nothing wrong with gray for some people. <laughs> and next, does extra time on the couch have you thinking you might need some new furniture? How you can save a lot of money if you buy right now. The details are straight ahead. Hey guys, it's April Ansira from Ansira Wind Chevrolet. Thanks for joining us on this month's SA Live Big Adventure. Make sure to watch each month as the SA Live team takes you to new places all over South Texas. And don't forget, and Sirwin Chevrolet can get you on your next big adventure too. Just stop by or visit AntsiraChev.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, it's hard enough going to the grocery store these days, but what if you need furniture? Lewis Shanks has been serving the community for 75 years. They've seen a lot of ups and downs, but they are here for you, and they plan to be here for the community for at least another 75 years. And while everyone's under stay-at-home orders, Lewis Shanks can still assist you with your furniture needs with a virtual tour of sorts. Joining us now is owner and store manager Michael Forwood. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, how are you today? Doing very well, thank you very much. Okay, so it all starts with this new blue bubble on your website. How does that work? Yeah, so basically anybody that comes to the to the site, they can click down there at the bottom right, um, and that'll immediately send um, one of the members on my team a text message to start engaging with that customer. So whether they have a question about a product or wanting to set up one of these virtual tours with us, we're there to be able to answer them. So if a product, say for instance, is not in stock, what can you do? So if the product isn't in stock, that can vary a little bit right now per, per our vendors. Um, the guys that have products in stock ready to ship, they can still have those products sent out. Um, a lot of our manufacturers on the custom upholstery side of things, so you know, building custom sofas and sectionals, things of that nature, a lot of them have shifted their manufacturing right now to building masks um, for different people in their local areas. Um, so they're, they're not able to produce uh, custom product, but everything that they have already built, ready to ship, can still be sent to us. Okay, now back to the virtual tour of the showroom. How's that work? So what they can do is a customer can get on and schedule a time with uh, with one of the members of our team, and we will set up a set up for you know our designers to come into the store and set an appointment with that customer. And whether um, whatever the customer would prefer, whether it be FaceTime or via Zoom, um, any sort of video type service that the customer is comfortable with, we can go through and browse uh, for some of their needs that they have immediately. Um, we can go through different fabric and finish samples and helping them select different things to get them the right product that they're needing for their project. Okay, well then it of course comes to billing and payments and that can all be done remotely? Yes, yeah, all we do is just send them a, a, a secure link via text um, and then they can either choose to pay by entering their credit card or it's set up for Apple Pay as well. So it's pretty, pretty quick, seamless process and it'll just list all the items out that they're purchasing. Okay, and the best news is you got a special deal going on right now. So what are you offering? Yeah, so right now they can get 25% more value um, by buying gift cards through the website. Um, there's a call to action on it on our homepage. So if somebody goes on there, they'll see that, you know, if they give us $4,000, $4, they'll have $5,000 worth of credit with us. Wow, that's fantastic. All right. Well, Lewis Shanks Furniture, of course, once again, is offering virtual tours of their showroom and added online customer service options right now for everyone at home. And as you just heard, they're adding 25% value to any gift certificate purchase. So if you spend $800, you get $1,000 gift certificate. It's all available online at lewisshanksfurniture.com for more information. You can also give them a call at 210-691-1400. Michael, thank you very much. Still ahead on SA Live, schools are closed, but that doesn't mean after school programs are gone. How one organization is staying connected to kids who might not have some important resources at home. And next, an easy recipe and a kitchen hack. We're getting creative to make these chocolate crepes. Our junior chef takes over. That's next. 
But right now, here's a look at some easy ways to stay healthy from BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Our tour of French cuisine continues with our junior chef, Molly. And today, she's bringing a delicious dessert to your home with an easy recipe using equipment that she may already have around the house. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> and if you want to top it off with fresh whipped cream, she's got an easy hack for that, too. Take a look. Bonjour, guys. Now we're going to make chocolate crepes. First thing you want to do is melt your butter for 30 seconds. Now, what we're going to be doing is mixing 6 tablespoons of flour, 3 tablespoons of water, and 3 tablespoons of milk. We're going to mix these together. We're going to add 1 half tablespoon of sugar. Now, we're going to add our tablespoon of melted butter, our egg, and our tablespoon of cocoa powder. And whisk until well combined. We're gonna turn the heat onto medium low. We're going to use a non-stick pan, like an omelet pan. Butter the pan. Then, we're gonna add two scoops of the batter. Now, we're going to spread it around the pan. Now, it's been 20 seconds, so we're gonna flip it. And now we're gonna wait 15 seconds. Look at those delicious crepes. Next up, we're gonna make the whipped cream. First, you're gonna fill a small mason jar one third of the way with heavy whipping cream. Next, we're going to put in one half tablespoon of sugar. One half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, we're gonna slap on a lid and we're gonna shake it up. Let's get shaken. What you're gonna do is you're gonna shake it until you don't hear a sound come from it. This looks like it's ready. Now, it's time for the strawberries. Now, we're gonna serve the whipped cream. Then, you're gonna take a strawberry and spread the strawberry slices along the inside of the grape. Et voila! You have your chocolate crisps with whipped cream and strawberries. Au revoir. Cute. Okay, where's the samples, Molly? I know, that was like so good. <laughs> yeah, and of course Molly is our executive producer, Diana's daughter, and what a wonderful chef. We're getting some great recipes from her. Thank you, Molly. Oh, mouth is watering. Mm -hmm. All right, next on SA Live, don't let your hair and nails get out of control. Just because the salons are closed doesn't mean you can't keep up with them. We got some great beauty hacks. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Yesterday, our producer Nicole and her mom, KSAT's Leslie Mouton, tried to get themselves some home manicures, and you know, they found out not that easy. And Leslie said <laughs> that Nicole did it better. So, hey, plus a bunch of us have done some home haircuts and learned that, well, you know, it can be a little bit tough as well. Mm -hmm. So here's a few tips to take care of both until the professionals can come to the rescue. Hmm. Hey, y'all, hey, Tamara Shannon here. I'm super excited to be back with you today, bringing you yet another beauty segment to help get us through this quarantine business. As you may have heard, there are certain items that have been deemed non-essential, and maybe you disagree. <laughs> I'm referring to our nail salons and our hair salons. Unless you just made a visit, you might be stressing out about what you're gonna do for your current nail situation, your current root situation, but I'm gonna give you some tips that will hopefully tide you over until we are able to get back to life as usual. So first things first, Obviously, you have this opportunity to just go all natural. You don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to see anybody. So if you wanna give your hair, your nails, your lashes a break, there's no better time to do it than now. If you are not going down without a fight, then stick around and let's talk about some tips to help you get through this. So let's chat about our nail situation. If you were fortunate enough to make it into the salon before we got on lockdown, then you're doing okay. If you're not, and you have a dip, acrylic, or even a shellac, chances are at this point, you may be kind of due for some treatment. <laughs> you have the option 
option here to completely remove the dip, the acrylic, or the shellac if you can get your hands on some acetone. You can file the dip or the acrylic down and then soak them and completely remove and just give your nails a break or maybe just go to straight painting. If you're not ready to go down that route yet, you don't wanna lose your nail, then you can have some fun with it. Get your hands on um, a similar color or something that I think is really fun is to get your hands on some glitter nail polish if you don't already have it and build it up towards your cuticle and create a fun glitter ombre nail. If you've never done it in your life, now is the time to do it because we're all at home, have some fun and it will help to kind of conceal that you're due for a fill until this is over and we're able to get back into the nail salon. A huge concern that women have right now is our hair situation. We can't get to the hair salon, our roots are growing out, our gray is showing through. What do we do? If you're not prepared to just go all natural, here are a couple of temporary tips that are hopefully hairdresser approved. First, something really, really easy you can run to any drugstore, Target, Walmart, you can order it and have it sent to you, is a dry shampoo, ladies. Now, if you have lighter hair, this is def I can attest that this definitely gives me a little bit more time before having to get my hair done. But they do have dry shampoo in different shades to match brunettes, to match redheads. So try them out and see if it works for you because that might be an easy temporary fix for you. Another thing you can do if you need a quick temporary fix is dive into your makeup. Yes, you can grab some eyeshadow and an eyeshadow brush to just do some quick cover up. You can also grab your good old mascara to do some gray cover up. And obviously, these are probably going to be better suited for darker hair colors. With really, really light hair, it's gonna be more difficult to find the makeup that could cover. One more tip that you can try, even easier than the things I mentioned before, is simply changing up your style. Parting your hair the same direction all the time can sometimes cause the hair to lay flat, which actually can cause your roots to look darker. So change up your part, throw your hair up, add a cute braid in the front along your hairline, do some twists and pull your hair back, leave it halfway up. All of this is going to make your root growth less noticeable. Now there are also root touch-up kits that you can purchase. Um, again, I would recommend talking to your hairdresser before going forward with any of these things and doing anything you might regret in quarantine. And your hairdresser may actually have a root touch-up kit that they can sell you from their salon. So you would be able to contribute to helping their business while they're not actually able to help you at this time. I hope this helped you out. I hope some of these tips help get you through this quarantine. Stay home and stay safe, you guys. Next on SA Live, kids are continuing their education at home, but what about people in the middle of getting their GED? A local organization is helping these people try to complete their education. Stay with us. We all know schools are shut down, but so are the places that we're helping people get their GED or giving kids a safe place to go outside of the classroom and home, places like SA Youth. And Asia Sharavino, the CEO of SA Youth, joins us to spread the word of how people can still take advantage of their programs. Hey there. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Really quickly, Asia, for those who don't know, who does SA Youth help? We serve children from the south side, west side, east side, all over San Antonio. Children that are underserved, actually. So you know those kids need the most help. And for those having to pause getting your GED, that can really set them back. How are you helping them continue? What's great about it is we're doing virtual high school. So our teachers are actually working one-on-one -on -one with kids online to continue their education and get their high school diploma. They will graduate. It will be virtual and crazy, but these are the times, right? It's a, just a whole different kind of milestone memory, right, that they're going to have. Absolutely. You know, and it's such a profound experience watching these kids specifically graduate from high school because most of them never dreamt that they could do it. And with our program, they're really empowered to feel good about who they are and go out into the workforce. So we're also working on overtime trying to get these kids placed in jobs right now with the market that you know is so crazy. All right. So those are the high school kids. How are you helping the younger kids with their studies? 
Well, you know, we've called all 1,200 of our families. We're connecting on a day-to-day -day basis. We're doing virtual um, learning time, so they're getting tutored over online, which is amazing with our teachers. And they're also doing activities, so they're doing ballet online. They're doing Zoom ballet with their teachers. They're doing Zoom theater. There's so much that we're able to do online now, which is so crazy. But we also are doing delivery, so we're able to go to people's homes, bring them the things that they need. We are their lifeline right now and really helping them kind of translate all the information that's coming at them. You know how everybody is totally overloaded right now. So we're really able to help these families one on one. It's been a really special time for SA youth and the people that we serve. So as you mentioned, besides helping with the schoolwork and activities like theater, you're helping with necessities, right? Absolutely. We're providing diapers. We're actually getting donations for masks. So we're able to bring those masks to people's homes so that they can go to the grocery store safely. Gloves, anything that we need. We're really a resource for all the things that they need so they don't continue to spiral in this poverty cycle. And you even try to brighten people's day on their birthdays, right? We do. We sing happy birthday to them. We make cards. We call them. We make signs. We do so much great stuff to try to brighten their day. We yesterday delivered a bunch of stuff to students in um, dinosaur costumes. So we're doing everything we possibly can to make our kids smile right now in this dark time. And I tell you, smiles are needed. And thank you so much for spreading <laughs> that cheer when you can. How can Absolutely. folks reach out to you if they need help? They can go to sanantoniouth.org and we have uh, contact information on our site. We'd love to be able to help any families that need it right now. We understand that everybody's in a really bad space. So we're here to help. That's what SA Youth does really well. Thank you so much. Asia Sheravino with SA Youth. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tomorrow on SA Live, get ready for a PJ party. It's National Wear Your Pajamas to Work Day. Ooh, and we're going to do a pajama workout, too. Look at that. We are. <laughs> Follow along. Plus, satisfy your sweet tooth. Learn how to make your own scones while you're at home. That's all tomorrow at 1 p.m. on SA Live. And right now, enter to win a free solar panel system. South Texas Solar Systems is giving one lucky homeowner a three kilowatt solar system. Now, if you don't win, South Texas Solar System still has a gift for you for going solar. $500 cash back when you buy a solar panel system. Enter to win on SALive.com. Earlier, we asked, pick one, tortillas or bread? All right, Joni says bread, but not plain white bread. Ah, <laughs> Shay says definitely tortillas. <laughs> Marla, tortillas, of course, flour. Mm. Now he's getting picky with the flour. Tortillas with butter. Okay, tortillas yes, with butter. That's yes. That's good. Shannon, tortillas. I can make bread, but I'm not good with tortillas. I can't make tortillas either. Good point. <laughs> I love tortillas. How I dread to eat with bread. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve, tortillas are much more versatile, and you can make a taco out of anything but a bean sandwich. <laughs> that doesn't sound so good, although I've tried it back in the day. That's hilarious. I agree. In other words, both. Hey, <laughs> don't forget, next Friday, the 24th, we are having an extra special fiesta party right here at one o'clock preceding the rerun of last year's Battle of Flowers Parade. Of course, case that's going to be airing all the parades next Monday night is the River Parade, Battle of Flowers, and then uh, the Flambeau. And we're going to be fiestaing up all week long. So fiesta at home. Yes. Don't miss out on your fiesta. <laughs>